Big Daddy here, and today we're going to take a look at Plasma 5.9.3. So let's get started. So 5.9.3 came out on March 1st, and I am just now getting around to installing it and using it. So I was on GNOME, and yes, I was on GNOME, but I am so glad to be back on a Plasma desktop. This is on my main system, and you don't know. Okay, maybe you do know, but you don't know. I'm so glad to be back on a Plasma system. So let's see what we got uh, and make sure that we are running the latest system. So we have Plasma 5.9.3, KDE Frameworks 5.31, Qt version is 5.8, kernel is 4.9.11. Obviously I'm on Intergos KDE and I am running an i7 16 gigabytes of RAM on a 500 gigabyte solid state. So this is again my main system. So let's look at the RAM. Now, right now, I'm running 1.4 gigabytes of RAM, which is pretty good for a Plasma version. And I normally run about 1.8, 1.9. And on cold boot, I was running 660 some. So what is fixed in 5.9.3? Well, basically, it was a bug fix uh, release. It wasn't where they were going to release major features. And that may not be exciting to some people, but it is exciting to me because what it allows you to do is it allows you to run the 5.9 version of Plasma without having the stability problems. So if you remember, I did a video on 5.9.2 and I was hesitant on telling people to upgrade. So there were nice features in 5.9, but everything wasn't perfected so that you could run it on your main system and not have some problems. These bugs, for the most part, have been fixed. And I'm happy to report that you can upgrade and see the new features of 5.9 and still have a stable desktop. So it just keeps getting better and better with each point release that they're doing for the bug fixes. In the future, on March 21st, I believe it is, we're going to see 5.9.4. And on April 20th, I think, if I'm not mistaken, April 21st, something like that, we'll see 5.9.5. And with these releases comes, like I said, the ability to run the desktop and just have it be rock solid. 5.8.5 was rock solid. And point three is heading that direction. So the stability part of it with system settings you don't see the bug anymore where you... I was in and out of these settings every way possible, upside down and backwards, and I did not receive the error or the crashing from backing out of the categories, which you did have before. I will say that there have been once in a while that the, settings, the system settings have just closed out completely on me, uh, but that was rare. So it's not perfect, but it's definitely way better than it was. And... The good part about it is it is able to be run without with minimal problems. And I would definitely suggest that you uh, upgrade to it. So 5.9 offers a lot of features. 5.10 will be actually coming. There will be beta releases and, and release candidates in the coming months. And there's a lot of exciting features coming to that from the folder views to being able to switch sound from the actual system tray, there's, they're definitely making a lot of improvements. So the bottom line is, should you upgrade to 5.9.3? And I'm happy to report, yes. I believe, in my opinion, you should upgrade because it gives you the advantage of 5.9 and all of its features and still gives you a stable desktop. So there's my answer, yes, update. Update now. Go ahead. Do it. Don't wait. <laughs> Until next time, Big Daddy out. Mm -hmm.